Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Lewis, and today we are here at Lira Motorsports in Port Orange, Florida, and we are getting the H&R lowering springs installed on my 2017 Porsche Cayman S. I am so excited, guys. This is single-handedly one of the, the mods that I've been looking forward to doing absolutely the most. Uh, the car currently sits a little too high for my preference. In the front, you got about a, a three, a three finger gap. And then in the back, the back's even worse. You almost have a four finger gap there. I mean, three is still, uh, you almost four. But this car is gonna be looking so good when it is lowered. And it's gonna change the way that this car feels around corners. It's just overall gonna change the entire car. But, there's also something else that we're doing in today's video. We are installing the APR Stage 1 Tune. Lira Motorsports is an APR dealer, so they'll be doing the install. And guys, if you need any work done in Central Florida, Lira Motorsports is the place to come. I'm gonna show you their shop. Michael is an awesome dude. He's a car guy, just like you and me and I am so excited to have the car here to get it done. Um, but let me give you a quick walk around my car so you can see how it looks before it gets lowered. So obviously the car looks amazing, even the way it's currently sitting, but I have, I have seen this car lowered and it completely changes the appearance. That having that car at, with a lower center of gravity also changes the way it drives. It just feels more nimble and gives it even more of a go-kart feeling. So I can't wait to get you guys a review of the car after it is lowered to the ground on those H&R lowering springs. And once again, guys, I just want to thank Lira Motorsports for allowing me and Matt to come out here, film, and doing the uh, lowering spring install. Make sure to check them out if you're anywhere in Central Florida. They are located in Port Orange, Florida. And guys, they are awesome. Before we get the install done of the Loring Springs, I just want to give a special thanks to Flat6Motorsports.com. They are actually the people where I got my H&R Loring Springs from. If you guys are in the market for any parts for your Porsche, any Porsche, make sure to hit up flat 6 Motorsports. Dot com. They're going to be linked in the description below. All right, guys, one last look before she goes in to get lowered. God, this car is just so good looking. I, I'm so obsessed with this car, guys. I know you. I've said it in other videos when you guys notice how excited I am about this car. But every time I look at it, I'm just mind blown at how beautiful this car is. And every time I drive it, I'm just mind blown at how good the car drives. But I am so excited to see how this car drives after it is lowered and has the APR stage one tune, Michael Force was telling me that it completely changes the car, makes it a completely different animal, and I cannot wait. Guys, make sure to subscribe because you'll be able to see the lowering spring install and how the car looks in today's video. But the APR stage one tune review is coming in the next video. So make sure to subscribe because you're not gonna want to miss that one. Uh, Michael just pulled in. He was actually test driving an Audi TT RS that they are building here. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. This thing is absolutely insane. Wow. So the car just went in the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. But first I wanted to show you this Audi TT RS. This is actually APR stage one tune as well. Uh, Matt from Rural Drive just went for a ride and he said that this thing is a complete animal uh, the way it drives. Now it is all wheel drive, but it's running about 400 horsepower. So this should be around how my car is gonna be running. This thing is really good looking. What do you guys think of that? Do you guys like TTRSs? Um, probably until, until today I wasn't a big fan, but this one is absolutely cool. Hey guys, so we got the car in the shop. It's up on the lift now. I'm so excited. I know I keep saying that, but I just can't wait to see how this car looks after it is lowered. Check out how much travel there is in the suspension right now. I also am going to need a new set of front tires very soon. But the install has begun. These are the H&R Sport lowering springs for 
the 718 Porsche Cayman S. These are the springs that I went with, only because I heard a lot of good things about them. The price point is amazing. Uh, they're about $330. Um, so really good price point for lowering springs on the Porsche 718 Cayman S. I wanted to give you guys an update on the car. Still on the lift. They're working on the front passenger side. I'll get, I'll get in here. Oh, it's already installed? A spring right here. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's stock spring. Look at stock me. spring? Are you holding the other lever? Yeah, so. Wow. Here's your stock spring versus your aftermarket spring. Look at that. So you got a lot more coils here. So this is very And it's lower. I think it's about the same height. Oh, Maybe they a are. A little bit lower, but you see how these springs are all spread out here? Yeah. And this one, they're all, it's like two different sets over here. Wow. What does that do, Mike? Well, there's a couple of different things that, that factor into the height of the car. Right. Uh -huh. One is the actual length of the spring and the height of it just when it's sitting static, but also the rate of it. So the different spaces are different rates? The rate, the rate of the, of the spring of, mm -hmm. that it squishes at. And these different spaces, it, it causes it to, uh, the, the rate on the graph is not flat. It doesn't go one pound per inch or whatever. It goes up and up and up. So it's, okay. as it gets more compressed, then it gets stiffer and stiffer. Wow. And is this going to keep it from kind of expanding as much? Yeah, or A little bit. A little bit? A little bit, but that's, that's more shocks. Okay. Rebound, rebound in shocks that does that. So when I switch to the Olin setup, that's going to help that? That's going to help that. Okay. This spring looks very even all the way, like the spacing and everything. And this one's just got so many different spaces. Like they're all short here, really wide there, medium here. Yeah, that's cool. So that's that's how they lower it. Mm -hmm. Is the, the initial is softer than the factory. Oh, wow. And it lands on this. And this hard, is the hard stiffer. part. It's stiffer. Ah, so you have your stiffer portion here, your softer it's, portion Because if it's lower, it's got to be stiffer, right? Otherwise, it'll bottom out. Yeah. Uh, so something I haven't told you guys previously was that I actually am looking for another car, kind of like a project car for the channel. I know that I have a lot of crazy stuff coming for the 718 Cayman S. Right now we're doing the lowering springs, APR tune, we're going to get down pipes, we're going to do a bunch of fun stuff and definitely track that car. But I kind of want like a project car, something, something cheaper that I can really build out, do something absolutely crazy. And for that, I've been thinking of getting one of these, a 986 Boxster. I just, I love the platform. I think it'd be great to have a convertible on the channel. I live in Central Florida. So, you know, top down, going to the beach in a crazy built Boxster seems like the ideal thing to do. So make sure to subscribe because we will definitely have something like that coming to the channel very soon. All right guys, so we have an update on the car. These fronts are done on both sides. Obviously I can't see how it looks yet because the car is still up on the lift, but they are now starting the rears of, of the car. Apparently the rear takes much longer to do than the front. Alex went ahead and knocked out the fronts so fast. He said that those are just easier because they're easier to access and the rears kind of take a bit longer because they are harder to access. You know what's cool? Or what's different? What? I've never seen before is that this exhaust pipe runs through the inner fender well. Oh I've yeah. I've never seen that. Like it's all crushed in between the suspension parts. Like is that Yeah, different? even my Cayman wasn't like that. That's different. And you have it on the same thing on the other side. We just got back from lunch. I was thinking that the car was going to be far from done but we actually have some rear tires on in the back which means that this side at least is finished and it looks like alex is finishing up this side right here actually he's getting started he's about to take it off what what are you a mechanic or something you know this yeah man it was a professional he was mechanic take it off. he could be putting it back together no because the spring isn't blue Oh, look at you! Yeah, attention to detail, Matt. I see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good. You guys, I don't know if you've officially met Michael, but this is Michael Lira, the owner of this awesome shop here. NASCAR driver of 10 years. Yeah, NASCAR driver for 10 years. He's only 23 years old, guys. He has 10 years of NASCAR driving under his belt and this whole shop. Were you driving when you were 13? I mean, they're 12 years old driving. Is that legal? Like, can you do that? Yeah, I guess so, because he did it. You were 12 in that picture. Yeah. Driving that truck. Yep. What? That one right there. That's crazy. 
That's Michael right there. I don't know if you can so see that good on camera. All right, I wanted to show you guys around Lira Motorsports. They have some awesome projects that they're working on. First off right here, they have this amazing Porsche 718 Cayman S that they're working on, lowering and tuning it. Obviously that's my car, but they also have some other cool things going on. This is an Audi A3, super fast car, straight up race car, big wing right there. Uh, they have this car right here, which is another A3. And if you guys see, this is a full blown race car as well, but it has carbon fiber panels. Check that out guys, super cool. They have a stock car right here. They have a Bentley that they're working on. And then they have an Audi R8 right there and a Porsche Boxster. And then they also have two other buildings just like this on property where they're working on other cars and where they store some pretty insane cars. If you guys need anything done to your car, whether you have a Porsche or anything at all, I recommend hitting up Lira Motorsports. These guys are awesome. I'm gonna have them linked in the description below. Alex, their mechanic, super cool guy and Michael, the owner of Lira Motorsports, super cool. I'm gonna have his Instagram linked in the description below in case you guys wanna hit him up directly and ask him any questions that you may have about getting stuff done to your car. All right guys, the car is done. It, they're just working on some few last minute things, but it's currently down on the floor already on all four wheels. Um, it's right behind me, I haven't seen it. I'm gonna have Matt, or I'm gonna have Michael actually pull it out to do the big reveal I cannot wait to see this car. Uh, Matt is saying that it is sitting really low and like it, the fit the fit and finish, not fit and finish. I'm so excited, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's fit and finish, the, the, it's fit and finish. Is it fit and finish? I mean, the, the word you're looking for is fit and finish. All right, yeah, the yeah, fit yeah. and finish uh, <laughs> is perfect on the car. So I think I'm gonna hand the camera over to Matt because I don't wanna see the car yet until it's pulled out, the grand reveal but uh, we're gonna do some uh, uh, behind the scenes. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek because you know, he's getting a little too excited, you know? No, it, it's, it's, it's really good. It... Oh my God, look at that wheel gap. Oh, what, what, what wheel gap, what wheel gap? Look at this, one finger, that's all it gets. And this isn't even settled down yet, so it's probably gonna sit absolutely perfect. But he hasn't seen it yet, super pumped to let him see it. The front is a little bit higher than the rear right now because it hasn't settled down. So I won't show you guys that yet, but here's the other side of the rear. It looks perfect. Can't wait for him to see it. He's gonna be pumped. Just heard the car turn on. Michael Lira is uh, gonna pull out the car for us to check it out. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see this thing, guys. Um, this is, like I said earlier, this is the mod that I was looking forward to the most. Um, I think 718 Caymans when they're lowered, they just look absolutely incredible. All right, dude, so he's filling up some tires right now. He's making sure everything's perfect for you. Yeah. Are you excited? Dude, I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> I mean, like, this is, this is literally the craziest thing. I've been wanting to lower this car since before I got it. Like, when I was looking at this car to buy it, I was already looking at how the car looked like lowered. It was already planned before yeah, you was, even bought the car. This was planned a year ago, you know? All right, well, how many fingers did you get in there before? So I was able to get three fingers in the front and almost four fingers in the back. Well, I'll tell you right now, you won't get four fingers in the back. I'll no? tell you that. Yeah, I saw it. Will I get two fingers in the back? Hell no. Oh, oh my uh, Can God. I even say that? Can it... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you're not going to get... The back is so low, and I'm hoping that the front, once it gets settled down, is going to be just as low. But oh I can't wait God. to see. Uh oh, here we go. Oh here we go. Oh my God. Holy crap, dude. That's a lot lower. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, let me show you so guys. <laughs> Damn. What do you think? Wow, dude. I mean, that's a whole different car. Bro, that It'll is be... low. Yeah. No, it is. Way wow. low. Look at that front end. Oh, look at that rear end. That is a big difference. I definitely need wheel space here. Yeah, like that. Can that. you stick your finger in there? Barely, right? I can't even stick a full finger in. Nope. And then wow. fronts? Front, I can still, I can stick one finger. Yeah, I don't know if once you let it settle, if it'll go down or not, but yeah, it's like way it lower. Wow. I mean, just look at the stance. Like insane now too. You it's know, gonna just, handle like no other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 
Oh my god. I'm like, I'm so happy. Thank you love you. it? You guys remember, yeah. check out Lira Motorsports in Fort Orange, Florida. These guys are the best. Michael's awesome. Car guys, you know, if you want to work with the shot or for sale, just straight up car guys, yep. it's your guy. Bro, the rears though. I mean, it couldn't get any lower than that, could it? Dude, it's perfect. Literally. Now, they, they really do need to get, like, look at how good they are. Yeah. Now, now, don't look at your wheels and tires. Look at your body. Like, look at the actual body. It's on the ground, dude. No, yeah, it's on the ground. That is so crazy. Well, I just, just want to go drive it. I mean, but we haven't even tuned it yet. Oh, it has to get tuned. <laughs> yeah, we haven't yeah. tuned it yet. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys like that reveal of the lowered car. I'm so excited. I absolutely love the way it looks. Uh, now we are starting the APR tune. Michael is getting ready to do it right now. Uh, apparently, this is a pretty quick install. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to get the car done. God, it looks so good sitting low like that. But I can't wait to drive the car. One, because it's lowered, and then two, because it's gonna have the APR tune done to it. Now, I am gonna leave that APR tune drive for another video, but for now, I'm gonna just show you guys another clip of the car because it looks so good. So I really hope that you liked that reveal. The car looks absolutely insane. I love the way it's currently sitting. They also told me that because the springs need to settle, it's actually gonna lower a little bit more, which is absolutely ridiculous. I can't imagine it getting any lower. One thing that I'm absolutely gonna have to do is put wheel spacers only because the wheels got tucked in. Right now, Michael is installing the APR tune, and I can't wait to drive this car with the tune done and it being lowered. But I'm gonna leave the reaction video of me driving this car for the first time for the next video. So guys, please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out Michael's shop, Lira Motorsports. I'm gonna have all that linked in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.